Welcome to Carlton and 60 episode two. Before I introduce my first, uh, my guest today, Charlie Hobbs, uh, I'm going to, uh, I wanted to talk about the issue uh, regarding one of the holes uh, at Carlton. Uh, several holes have gone through different uh, uh, configurations uh, over the years. One was a 17th hole, and I heard a story, legend has it, there was a grove of birch trees that were uh, uh, in the middle of the fairway, and it was hard to get around them, and uh, they had a big meeting about it, and one day after the meeting, uh, people voted down the the, uh, uh, the the issue of cutting them down, but the next day, uh, they were gone. Um, some, somebody came over with a chainsaw and cut them. Now, I asked Charlie about that, and he had no recollection of that. He did remember a grove of trees in front of the green that were making it very difficult to uh, hit the ball in. And the 25th anniversary booklet, where I got the picture, um, also uh, mentions that grove, but they also mention the grove in the middle of the green, and here's what they have to say. There used to be a grove of birch on the 17th fairway, just about where a good shot might drop. If by chance you were lucky enough to shoot around them, you would then have uh, an still another obstacle, a maple and an oak in the path to the green. The frustration of this combination led to the sabotage of the grove where the unidentified culprits reconfigured the hole with a chainsaw. So, well, Charlie doesn't remember that, maybe somebody else does, but he does talk about the ones by the green. Plus we learn a little bit about Charlie Hobbs, who's been a member since 1964. Hope you enjoy the interview. Morning, I'm here with uh, Charlie Hobbs in our Carlton at 60 series. Um, and I'm so happy to have Charlie here because he's got so, uh, so much knowledge about the course. Um, but we're here to talk about one particular incident, which we'll get to in a minute. Charlie, welcome to Carlton and 60 series. And can you tell us, Charlie, when you joined the club? I joined in the second year, um, 1964. And uh, I remember Jimmy Shields was here the previous year. His number was 73 and everybody knew it. <laughs> Mine was uh, 211 and I still have it, 211. Yeah. So I guess I was just about 200 in membership then. Yeah, so we had about 200 members back. That was pretty good actually for a second year course. Um, now Charlie, we're here going to talk about uh, the course a bit and especially hole number 17 it was a little different back then and uh, there was a unique characteristic um, can you tell us about it yes it was uh, I guess rather controversial it was a big birch tree uh, just uh, on the on the green side of the ditch that is there I'm not sure what the yardage is but um, it was a big tree with many branches and it blocked 17. Now 17 is one of our more, most difficult holes and to have that big tree made it worse. Anyway, um, there were a lot of controversy but um, and I was one who was on the side of keeping the tree which was rather stupid I think now. But Bill Collins was the president then and he got it taken out and it made it a much better hole because it was it was really quite unfair yeah. quite unfair anyway that's mm -hmm. that yeah. happened i'm not sure what year but uh it cleared up the hole a lot yeah. yeah there were a lot of birch trees on that hole uh i i i've seen a picture of it there was quite a few actually and uh, i guess over the years they've either died or been removed they they weren't as controversial as the one you're talking about no but we did have too many trees on the course and we lost a lot a lot of trees in the ice storm but we still have we had too many trees because they crowded in on the on the fairways but now our our fairways are still what we would call tree lined there's still we still have lots of trees yeah. which makes it a nice course yeah so but uh, you know i saw a picture charlie of the course uh when it first opened up it was from the first hole and you're looking down and uh, it's an aerial view actually and there are hardly any trees on one two three so were the trees mainly in the back and on on the back side do you, re do you recall uh in the early years i'm not even sure i don't recall okay but uh, you know eventually they turned into a lot yeah. of mature trees yeah yeah we did a lot of planting 
I guess, uh, I guess the Mort did, I'm not sure now, a uh, long time ago. Okay. Well, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate that. And uh, if you uh, have anything else that you would like to share with us in the future, I would love to have you back. Very good. Thank you, John. Yeah. <laughs>